Hey guys, Jay here, back with another FFPE video. Um, so we got some news for our monthly update. Okay, first off, um, this week we're getting a lower Croft collab, and yeah, we're getting another raid, so back-to-back -back raid. So, uh, but this raid's gonna be better with the raid coins. You might have a chance to get a 10% trust Moogle or four-star tickets. So this raid is going to be a lot better already. In addition to, to uh, uh, materials used to craft exclusive equipment as usual during raids. So I hope this is a new thing going on from now on for all the raids. That we have a chance to get a trust Moogle and, and uh, 4 star tickets for raid coins. Okay with that, we're also getting uh, Laura Croft, I I don't know, they said it's super easy to get her, so I don't know if it's a, like a really easy event, or just a login bonus, but she's really easy to get, she's a 5 to 6 star, uh, her TMR is not that good, 10% to HP, MP, attack and defense, a passive ability Lucky Explorer all boosts all element resistance by 7%. I guess there's a chance I'll use her with Zon, I guess, because boost drop rate of rare items. She sort of have a dual wield, can equip two short swords, whips, throwing items, or guns. And one of her abilities is damage and add chance to paralyze all enemies. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see if she's useful. She's a free unit so I don't expect her to be OP. But from what it looks like, I'll just use her when I'm farming uh, Jean Chris because of her Relic Hunter. Yeah, so I was surprised. I didn't expect uh, it would do a collab with Laura Croft, but her movie is coming out so I guess it's a promotion. Um, much better than um, Ariana Grande, that's for sure. I think we can all agree with that. Okay, what's up next? There's the uh, banner. The 5 to 6 star. A new Aileen, Explorer Aileen. She's more versatile. Um, her TMR gives her ability to um, boost attack when single weapon. So it's another uh, double hand uh, TMR. Uh, they didn't say much about her except that she can chain with the original Eileen. So yeah, I can't talk too much about her. Not much information given. She's just very flexible I heard. Uh, Pharaoh Abel. Uh, not much news about him anyway. He's 3 to 5 stars max. So it's not going to be that good. Is uh, another debuffer. My most hype unit, uh, Divine Solio. Um, the other one was so awesome, the original Solio. Mass massive boost to attack, defense, matching, and spirit. This one has physical and magical uh, damage mitigation, uh, healing properties, auto revive properties. Oh, so she's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to uh, Solio. Divine Solio. If she's anything helpful like the other Solio, she's going to be an awesome unit. And what else? Uh, ability Awakening. So... <laughs> Riku is already pretty darn good. I hope she gets better. Like more turns for auto revive. Well, no, they usually don't boost the limit burst. Huh? Hopefully, better synthesizing skills. I heard Garnet is gonna get better healing skills. We'll have to see. All right. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it for the quick update. That's a very quick summary. Um, they also talk about the. Uh, 30 million downloads I already covered and then the 
so the so we already get we already started with the feature summon and then we get the two summon and some uh, um material uh, ability enhancement uh units and then for the final week we can enter a raffle to win uh lala lapis and they actually addressed the uh banner issue and they talked about it the uh five star summon banner for 54 dollars or whatever it was he actually addressed it he said he didn't say much he just said um they heard the feedback from the community that's about it all right guys thank you for watching uh please like and subscribe if you have time you can click the riku button at the bottom right hand of the screen all right thank you for watching